Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today what we're going to be working on is I'm going to be teaching you how to make an animated block that has also a GUI and you can actually store things in these uh, particular blocks and it's not too complicated to set up. It's co totally customizable. It's super easy to do and um, there's only a few steps that you have to uh, be aware of what you need to do. Speaking of which, this is a really nice uh, seed. I actually spawned over at... There was a lake right over there I think I spawned and I just came over here. And there's also a village and there's uh, the ice plains biome. So if I just type slash seed you'll be able to see the seed. So that's the seed if you guys want it. Uh, yeah, let's uh, hop into block bench because that's where we're going to actually start our journey for today. Okay, so the first thing that we need to talk about is uh, how to model things in Blockbench. Obviously, most of you probably know how to make actual models and stuff like that, but animation is a little bit different uh, when it comes to making things a little bit more smooth, per se. Um, if you want to animate a particular static block with an inventory, then what you need to actually do is have multiple states of that same block and as you can see this is basically the rough outline of what I did with the block in the um, in the game there is I've had uh, multiple meshes that on the parts that I wanted to animate so there's this one that one and that one and then it finally goes to this state here so you can kind of see the corners one two three and then four and then it would uh, animate back down so like that so how I've been able to do that is if you look at the texture side over here um, we'll go to this one right here it's showing this particular texture this is because we clicked on the side if we click on the uh, top here as you can see it's these two textures and then if we click on these ones it's these two textures and if we click on these ones it's these two textures and then finally, if we click on that one, it's gonna be these two textures. So this is a 32 by 32 image, and we'll be able to use that to basically create our uh, animation for our block. Now, because this is only an eight by eight block, well, eight by seven, I think. Uh, no, that's a pivot point, eight by eight by eight. So we were able to fit uh, it in within a 32 um, texture. So you can separate the uh, different textures. Uh, to do this, if you wanted to say, have the top texture separate, you can do that. Uh, what you would need to do is, you need to create a new texture or import a new one. And what you would rather do than that is have the um, top, if you go to the uh, UV window, um, I think it's that one or yeah, if the UV window, this option right up here, it will allow you to basically control what textures and stuff uh, you want to basically assign. So uh, because we only have one texture, if we create a new one and we'll just uh, call it texture, have it blank for the time being. So we'll go back here. Now these are our up and down ones. So we can basically go to right click on it go to texture and then we can click on our texture that we want. So this will assign it to that particular texture and uh, you can just play around with the UV map in order to basically get it to the position that you need it for your animation. So when you have your textures all set up, um, I should have probably said, <laughs> I'll just not save. Um, when you have your, all, all your textures set up, then you want to basically bring it into um, paint.net or photo, photo editor, it's really easy to do with paint.net. And you're going to have a static image like that. So if we go and click on block animations, I have textures, I have the default texture open. That's not what I wanted. Why? I had a Windows update, so it's must have messed up all my assigned things. Edit. Is it gonna, no. Wow. Alright, I'm just going to drag it over then. Still nothing. Wow. I really hate Windows sometimes. So, 
This is our texture that we have for basically animating our blocks. We have the four different states, uh, one here, one here, one here, and one here. This is the fourth state, second or third state, second state, and first state. Um, now, if we want to animate it in a specific way, we can do that through animation strips. So what we can do is we can uh, expand this particular uh, file size. You're gonna have to do a little bit of math. Um, 32 multiplied by how many different frames you wanna basically have. So 64 would be an extra frame. Uh, I'll do 128 just to show you what I mean by the different frames and stuff like that. So uh, 128 is four frames. We wanna select the top um, thing so we can basically have it uh, create all the new space below the image. And then we're gonna click okay. So as you can see, it created it all down here. And the next thing that we wanna do is we want to copy all this, uh, control C uh, after you selected it. And then what you wanna do is control V and then you're gonna paste it right where the next frame needs to be. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to remove parts that you're not gonna be using. And what this will do is it's only gonna dis <clears throat> it's only gonna display the um, second frame. So what you can do from that point is go to your third frame, paste it down like this, get rid of the frames that you're not gonna be using and now it's only going to display the third frame. So do it a couple more times, uh, one more time, and this will display only our fourth frame. So what we'll do is we'll remove that, and we'll remove that, and then we have three frames, and then we're gonna remove all this, and we're gonna remove that. So it's going to go frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four, and then what it's gonna do is go back to frame one. So if you want it to basically be seamless, what you need to do is make sure that it goes to frame two again, and then it will automatically go to frame one because that's how animation works. It kind of reads it like a list. So it'll start here and it will always go down to the bottom. So we would have to go and create uh, frame three again, frame two again, and then it will automatically jump to uh, frame three. So if you wanted to do that, you can always expand, add, um, expand, expand uh, canvas size, and then the size, what you would need to do, I'm not great at math, so I'll use a calculator. So 128 plus 64 is 192. So what we would do is go 192 and it'll add two more frames. And then what we can do is we can um, just basically copy. Uh, we need to figure out how what the size is. So that's uh, 32. We can actually, after we resize that, we can basically use the white uh, cursor tool and we can just drag this to um, our next frame so this would be our next frame and then we would want to uh, reverse that so we can also just uh, right click on that and bring it down like this if we use a little bubble icon bring it down here and then we'll copy frame 2 as well so that and then what we can do is we can just reverse that and go to 32. I'm looking at the size down here. That's how I'm knowing that it's 32. And then we can copy and paste. And then we'll put it down at our last frame. And basically it's a seamless uh, texture like we have in the thing. So after you've created your animation strip, you want to save it as and uh, I have an animation strip that I already created. So this is the test animation strip, exact same texture. So we could just save that and then it will apply it. So now let's hop into mCreator and I'll show you what I've done. 
It's after that point's finished, it's super easy to set up. So all you need to do is go to your um, create texture, create animated texture. And then what you need to do is, um, uh, where is it? Uh, add frames from animated strip, right? This one right here. You want to select your animated strip. So we would go to our desktop and whatever folder I have it in, which is block animations, textures, and then you would click on your test animated animation strip. Uh, you can, it can be named anything you want, but that's the one I have it as. And then you just wanna leave all these settings and just click okay. So with that being said, uh, what we can do is this is basically the animation. In the, t in the t uh, example, I had uh, two frames. You can make it go three frames, it'll be a little bit smoother. The, the more um, frame spaces between will basically be, uh, like if it's like three, it'll be slower. If it's one, it's faster for the, basically the, uh, how fast the animation updates. So now basically what's happening in a, a just of everything is it's, texturing only the faces or the meshes that actually need to be animated at that very given time. The rest is basically just being invisible for the time period and will only be displayed when we tell it to in the image itself. So after you're finished that, you can just save it, name it, and uh, you'll be fine. And uh, that's where we have the animation texture here. And that's it. I mean, honestly, you just import your animation texture here for your block. Uh, when you actually import your model, um, what you want to do is you want to assign your animation to that model as well. And it will automatically uh, do the rest for you. So uh, hopefully you guys found this tutorial useful. It's uh, took, taken me a little bit while to figure out, but um, you know, I'll, the community is really good and uh, I got some ideas and inspiration from people that were suggesting some things and it wasn't exactly the same thing that they were suggesting but it was probably a little bit simpler to do maybe I don't know I a lot of it was coding and stuff like that and I'm just like no I'm not great with coding so I thought back to when I was in animation class and I'm like okay well they were just basically displaying something so I kind of figured animation textures would probably be easier. We just need to make sure the block is the same block and not updating to a new state. But uh, outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video. And Thanks for watching. Peace out.